segue to Seaview High School for girls soccer where fall foliage colors were hanging on and by games and the Red Hawks or Wolves would be as well. Best chance in the first half came in the final minute. CVU corner into the box gets batted around but the keeper gets down and smothers it. And for a second straight day it was a scoreless yet cute dogfight in Heinsberg. Like their boy counterparts, Red Hawks break through in the second half. Josie Pecor pokes it past the keeper. CVU takes a 1-0 lead with 34 minutes to play in regulation. Eight minutes later, CVU trying to add on. Olivia Zaberic with a good look and free kick. Hannah Murray skies it to make the save. Eventually, Red Hawks would get their insurance. So Zurich breaks loose, flicks it on net, and the Red Hawks are heading to their seventh title game in eight years. But who would they be playing? The answer would be either the host high school Colchester Lakers or the visiting Essex High School Hornets. And scoring took almost no time at all. Just a minute and a half into the game. Leia Lamont takes the corner and it finds its way in. Colchester scores first and leads one to nothing. They would come looking for more on a similar situation in the second half, but the kick finds the head of Madison Finelli instead this time. That's all they would need to move on. They will now play top seed CVU on Saturday. Division three field hockey, Missiscoy and Stowe would be going to overtime tied 1-1, then to penalty strokes. The first goal in the frame would come from Skyler Graves running into the keeper, but the ball just keeps going in and it's 1-0 Stowe. They were down by two when the T-Birds get on the board. Watch the nifty move from Rihanna Sweeney. Flips the ball through the goalie's legs and finishes what she started 2-1. Next up, we have Ali Infante. She's going to go right down the middle, waste no time putting the game-winning goal in. It took a couple seconds for them to realize it, but Stowe is moving on to the championship on Saturday. 